I know that you do a lot of um, work on your own. Do you do anything, any kind of collaborations? Yeah, mm -hmm. I um I write a lot of comedic videos um, and I do collaborations with those. And um, right now I'm in the process of writing a pilot for a series um, that uh, I just finished the first draft maybe about a week ago. Um, but yeah, just trying to trying to find ways to kind of keep it going and, and just putting content out there. That is so awesome. Like, I am so proud of you. I appreciate it. All the success. Thank so, you. So with your pilot, are you starring in it? Are you just writing in it, directing in it? What's going on? So starring in it, um, for sure. And, and really, it came about just from, you know, being in different projects and, you know, thinking like, okay, this is going to be like the big one, or this is going to be the one that, you know, uh, gets me more recognition and then seeing like the final cut and, um, you know, just realizing you don't have any control unless you write it, you, you know, produce it and put it out there. So um, even like the last uh, film I was in, um, uh, One Night in Miami, like I had at least like three pages of dialogue with like the Malcolm X character and, you um, you know, just super excited about it and had all my family come to the, to the theater and watch it. And then seeing the final cut, I mean, it completely uh, the scene and made it like a voiceover scene. And, you know, I literally had like one word, but even that one word was like, they used somebody else's voice for the ADR. And I'm like, oh, the world. So I, I was just like, yeah, I really have to, um, you know, just create my own, my own content and my own film or series where, or whatever I feel that uh, will show me in the best light and then just put that out because, um, you know, waiting for a casting director to feel like you're the perfect actor for this lead or for this role, who knows how long that'll take. So that's where I am with it now, just. Oh, that's a gem. And that's one thing I try to tell my students is that if you want something, create it yourself. That way you're not gonna hear no, everything mm -hmm. is guaranteed, especially mm -hmm. with all of the work that actors put in mm -hmm. to like jump into character and memorize their lines and to do that over and over with auditions, mm -hmm. um, it's just not right. And then you see, and then you see the final product, they cut your scene, they do all mm -hmm. this manipulation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not equitable. So I love that, you know, you're taking you're taking the reins with your career in that way mm -hmm. yeah. yeah just got tired of you know and of course I'm still auditioning but it's like I, I know for sure that I have to create my own you know and just mm -hmm. bet on and myself hit from me. all angles that's right mm -hmm. yeah how long have you been teaching um uh, maybe like eight years dope super yeah. dope and you're teaching at Georgia State, right? Was it? So Southern, not state. So Georgia Southern, sorry. Okay, I went to Georgia State for a year, so I just, <laughs> but Georgia Southern, okay, cool. I'll give you that. Okay, so we're not going to get into <laughs> the competition. Um, but yeah, so I, I started off coaching at Georgia Southern, and then um, I went, because I think when I met you, I was still a student. Um, okay. So I graduated, yeah. I taught in DC at Arena Stage. I don't know if you're familiar with regional theater, um, but I was like, okay, I'm too young to really be like settled in my career and teaching and stuff like that. So I want to do the whole LA actor thing. Mm -hmm. I went mm -hmm. out to California, did that, hated it. Um, mm -hmm. I was like, Atlanta's home. I book more work there. I get more auditions. The people mm -hmm. are like more sane. Mm -hmm. um, so I came back to Georgia that I got an agent started, um, I think, you know, started with commercials and built from there and jumped back into teaching, started off high school, then middle school, then elementary school, then I, then I did like private studios. And I was like, you know, what? at this point, I can do it myself right. my, on my own. And last year I started my company um, doing like after school enrichment and then just building and now I'm doing it full time. Oh, 